What's up YouTube? Jeff back again today with another exciting Samsung video for you guys. Today we're talking about the One UI 6.1.1 update for the Galaxy S23, S23 FE, the Galaxy Tab S9 series, the Z Fold 5, and the Z Flip 5. Yes, it is rolling out to all of these devices, and I wanted to very quickly mention which ones are getting it and uh, when you should expect to see it arrive in various regions. Before we get started, I do want to thank my four-year-old son Jonathan. We've got the T-Rex and the horse hanging out. He always gives us some cool animals to hang out in the video. We appreciate that. If you guys haven't yet, make sure you check out our website, sammyguru.com. Cover the latest Samsung news, tips, tricks, tutorials. Uh, it's always the breaking news gets covered there first since it's easier to write it up for us instead of uh, over here on the YouTube channel. It takes a little while longer to make a video. We have full-time writers over there now. We're covering it every day, so bookmark the page and come back often. You can also get in our mystery box program if you're here in the U.S. Get a free case, cleaning kit, desktop phone stand, other randomly inserted goodies. When you do, use our affiliate link to order your Galaxy S25 device through Samsung's U.S. website. We cover all the shipping costs and the cost of the items. Check out the link below if you're interested. So, uh, last night, I'm recording this on the 12th of September. Last night was the 11th. Samsung started rolling out One UI 6.1.1 in Korea, which uh, has a build number ending in BXH7 for the S23 FE, CXH7 for the S23, and for the Tab S9 series, it's BXHB. Um, these all started in Korea. Um, they all have various sizes, well over two gigabytes. Um, it looks like most of the features that came available for the S24 series will also be available on the S23 series and the Tab S9 series as well. So we're hoping to find out more. As people get the updates, we'll certainly bring you a full review of detailing if anything was lost over the S24 update. But I did want to show you guys the actual change log. It's in Korean, so keep in mind, I'm not an expert at reading Korean, so I don't know exactly. Here's the one for the S23 FE, uh, 2.354 gigabytes. Scroll down here, a couple more. There's quite a few of them last night that came out. I'll drop links to all of them. Tarun Vats posted most of these on Twitter. I think this is the one for the S23 series. There it is. I mean, the changelog, 2.454. The changelog looks very similar to the Galaxy AI changelog from the S24 series. So I'm thinking most of those Galaxy AI features, particularly like sketched image and stuff like that, made it to the S23 Ultra, of course, with the embedded S Pen, Tab S9 Ultra, Tab S9 series with those embedded S Pens. Now, it's not as large as the update was for the S24 series, which was around three to four gigs, depending on where you got the update around the globe. But the S24 series also had some additional performance fixes, um, battery optimization, and camera fixes. There were a lot of big camera fixes. We don't know how many camera fixes there were for the S23 series. And obviously, there's probably minimal camera fixes um, for the Tab series. Now, the Z Fold 5 and Z Flip 5 also have similar sizes as well. Those are around 2 to 3 gigs, probably around the 2 to 2.5. So that's probably mostly all the Galaxy Eye features that we saw on the Z Fold 6, Z Flip 6, and the S24 series. I'll definitely compare if you guys gotten it already. It hasn't started rolling out yet in the US, Europe, etc., or India that we know of. Our full-time writer, Sumit, he is in India, and he hasn't gotten it yet on his devices, as far as I know, doesn't know anyone who's got it. It was supposed to start rolling out today, September 12th, in the US. Haven't seen anyone mention it. Uh, carrier lock devices will probably get it first. So if you have a T-Mobile, AT&T, Verizon device, you'll probably get it before the unlock models of the S23, S23 Ultra, et cetera, Z Fold 5, Z Flip 5. So I would expect later tonight, September 12th, uh, we'll probably see it start rolling out, hopefully to some of those carrier lock devices. T-Mobile seems to be first in the US lately. And then hopefully by the 15th, uh, we'll see it fully roll out to all the models, including the unlock models. Now, I'm going to be checking my Tab S9 Ultra furiously. Uh, I will cover that. I have a Tab S9 Ultra and go through all the features that the tablet's got, as well as my S23 Ultra and see when it's updated. But if you guys do get it before me, drop me a line, jeff at sammyguru.com. Hit me up over on X, or you can email me directly to the website, as I said. Everyone should be super excited. I think most of those features will trickle down. S22 users, we still don't know if or when you guys will get all the features. We know some of them are probably going to be left out um, for the S22, probably not going to get all of them. But it should still get some of those features down the road. Samsung just hasn't released a full time frame yet. Anyway, wanted to pass along this info because I know a lot of people are waiting for it with different devices. Again, check out the website for all the breaking news up to the minute bookmark and check back as updates come in. Mystery box, if you're interested, sign up there, put in your phone number or email or both and get those free goodies if you want to order the S25 devices in January 2025. Anyway, I appreciate you guys checking it out, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.